Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. The photolithography machine is the soul of chip manufacturing. Without the photolithography machine, China cannot make even the most advanced chips. With a deep understanding of these shortcomings and external restrictions, Chinese companies including the Chinese Academy of Sciences have accelerated the research and development of photolithography equipment. With the overtime efforts of scientific researchers, China has indeed made great breakthroughs. For example, in EUV light source, EUV light source control system and some important links, we have achieved gratifying results. But so far, no domestic company has been able to produce an EUV photolithography machine, not even a reference model. In this regard, some time ago, a well-known communications expert Xiang Ligong published an article stating that China's photolithography machine will not be officially announced, because as long as it is officially announced, it will attract more sanctions and restrictions. And from what he said, not only will the photolithography machine not be officially announced, but it has even reached the point where it can make 5 nanometers chips. The reason why it is not publicized is because it involves confidentiality. His words seem to make sense. The lithography machine can be regarded as confidential, and it is easy to attract stricter restrictions if it is publicized. Refer to Huawei's 5G, 910B chips, etc., which all show that companies should be low-key, otherwise they will be put under more pressure. But from the actual situation, China will find that all Xiang Ligong's reasons are untenable. In March, a company Zincali that has been registered for more than three years released a number of semiconductor manufacturing equipment in a high-profile manner. Since then, news broke that Zincali may try to break the monopoly of ASML lithography machine technology and Xiang Ligong also hinted that Sinkalai has mastered 5 nanometers lithography manufacturing equipment and has started manufacturing 3 nanometers technology. Affected by this, ESML stock price fell, and the US chip company NVIDIA also fell with it. After all, once China has its own lithography machine, it will not need to buy ASML's lithography machine, and even NVIDIA chips with excessive demand may not be so needed. But what is the reality? After NVIDIA submitted documents that the H20 castrated version of the chip must also be exported with the permission of the United States, Chinese companies were in an uproar and even pushed NVIDIA to the forefront because NVIDIA did not give manufacturers enough buffer time. This has already indirectly shown that China does not have the ability now, let alone get rid of ASML's dependence, even American chips cannot be gotten rid of. In addition to this matter, ESML's senior management recently ruthlessly tore off this layer of fig leaf. In the release of ASML's first quarter financial report in 2025, ESML's senior management revealed two important information. The first is that he has heard about China's replacement of lithography machines, but from the information currently displayed, he believes that all this is just under research, and then he believes that China still needs many years to build an advanced EUV equipment. This is all euphemistic. To put it bluntly, it is, didn't you say that you were developing lithography machines? Why haven't you even taken out a single device until now? 
There is nothing new even in the industry that can be detected. Unfortunately, after this statement, Chinese companies were silent, without even a word of rebuttal. Of course, perhaps everyone will agree with Sian Li Gong's remarks that China just wants to use it secretly, and they naturally can't see it without fanfare. And what qualifications do they have to see China's official announcement of lithography machines? That's all confidential. This is about the second information they revealed. Its senior management emphasized that under semiconductor control and such high tariffs, China's market demand for them is still strong. They speculate that the total sales in China will exceed 25% in 2025. People who know this industry know that the production cycle of lithography machines is relatively long, and manufacturers place orders with ASML in advance. To put it bluntly, the 25% they expect is to some extent that the order has already been placed. Just use your brain to think about it. If China has its own lithography machine, how could it have such a great demand for ASML? What's more ironic is that ASML doesn't care about the tariff issue between China and the United States at all. The fundamental reason for this is that it is difficult to replace. Even if there are high tariffs in a short period of time, he can also have the confidence to let his customers pay for the tariffs. At this point, can China still boast that China's lithography machine is not officially announced because it is confidential? In my opinion, China has always been more inclined to show off its hard power. When China has something that scares others, China will not hide it at all, but put it out to make the other party compromise. This is the case with more advanced things, let alone a lithography machine. So the author firmly believes that if there is no official announcement, it means that China has not made it yet. There is nothing shameful in honestly accepting the cruel reality that you can't make it yet, because China will always make it, but the time has not come yet. In this regard, do you think China's EUV lithography machine will wait for the official announcement? Or as Xiang Ligong said, it will never be officially announced. Welcome to leave comments, likes and shares.